Hi, Jose, how are you? Hi, teacher, I'm good, and you? Good, good, I'm pretty good. Excellent. How, how is your day today? Uh, good, um, working, like always. You had to work? Yeah, I know. Yes. But um, did you have a normal day or was it very a uh, stressful day today? Uh, no, normal day. It was a normal day. Okay, good, good, good. I'm happy to hear that. And how was your weekend? Uh, my weekend um, was a little, uh, it's a little tired because I work I I worked in my house. I I was fixing um, some something in my house. Oh, you were fixing okay. some things in your house. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you really didn't have very much chance to to rest. Oh, see. yes. I rest a little. Just a little bit, huh? Yes. Okay. Well, sometimes that happens. Um, some weekends are for resting. Other weekends are for catching up in the things that we don't have time to do during the week, right? So yes. that's just mm -hmm. life. Okay. Yeah. OK. Well, hopefully next weekend will be a little bit more relaxing. Yes, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Jose, how are you doing with the platform? Uh, I finished the number. Uh, two. Okay, excellent. Okay, so section number two is finished. Yes, okay. I am. I am working in the number three. Okay. Did you do the midterm? Yes, I. I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Excellent. Um, okay. Let me just write that down. Okay, so Jose, you are in section, you finished finished section two. And with midterm. Hi, Daniel, how are you? Good, good. Good. Hello, Jose. Hi. How, how was your weekend, Daniel? Ah, my weekend had been very, very busy, teacher. Because the last Saturday, I have a training uh, all the morning. That sounds good. At the afternoon, I have to do some business. And on, no, on Sunday, yesterday, I was on the uh, clinic with my, with the, no, with the, my wife's grandpa. With your your wife's grandfather, you went to the yes. clinic. Wow! How old is he? Ninety seven. <laughs> wow! Yes. Your your but um, but he's very easy going. He's very healthy, but uh, he's in like a niño sano control. <laughs> But if you look him, he likes uh, about 70, 70 years old. And he is very thin, he is happy, he walks a lot and alone, a lot and alone. He, he, he takes a bus from San Salvador to another municipio. <laughs> wow. Yes, alone. Yes, alone. He's very yes. independent. He's, ah, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, in, that's this, in this case, with the pandemic, he has been very uh, fixed, but the, because he, he doesn't, doesn't go, go out. Oh, okay. So he's feeling sick because he can't go out. 
Ah, yes. Not because he's really yes. sick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. He's just, he's just feeling very, uh, like, you know, maybe a little claustrophobic because he's, he has to be inside all the time. Yes. No, but I, 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 I been with, with him since maybe six, seven, seven weekends ago. Mm. But for us, it's very nice because it's very funny. <laughs> yeah, well, your wife is very, um, is very privileged to have yes. her, her grandfather still alive. And he's like, he's, he's like her father because he grew up with him, with he. She grew up with him. With him, uh, okay. She yeah. wrote with him. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Wow. Yes, but this, but uh, basically all weekend we we have doing some that, and about my job I was taking some calls, but no more, just a little calls. You you were taking courses during the weekend. Ah yes, uh, on Saturday I was taking something in, in virtual too, but on all the morning, hello Grace. Wow, okay. So, and then in the afternoon you had off, you did. You were not studying. No, I, no, I didn't study, but I had to attend some business. Oh, I, okay. like to, I, I like to sell cars, maybe one. Someone needs some cars. I I try to to sell or buy some cars. Oh, okay. So you're a car dealer. <laughs> yes, a little car. <laughs> you're a car dealer. Wow. Okay, that sounds good. That's very interesting. Yes, uh, okay. that is my um, lifestyle. <laughs> ah, okay. That's great. That's good. And Daniel, can I have a? Uh, I was wondering, um, how are you doing with the platform? How far along are you with the platform? I just started the lesson three and maybe let me check, but I guess I did just the 3.4. Let me check. Okay, so you finished uh, section two and you did the midterm as well, right? Yes, right. That's right. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to okay. think. Wonderful. So you started number three already. Okay, good. Um, Grace, hi, how are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, hello. Hello, Daniel. <laughs> Not bad. Um, well, uh, I went out uh, this um, weekend, first time um, after the pandemic <laughs> to dinner. So um, I think um, that we all have to, um, we, we all have to um, apply all the, uh, the protocols to, for going out and start our normal lives. <laughs> so um, this is the first time that I uh, went out uh, for dinner. Okay, good. Did you have a fun time? Yes. Um, the place um, the place that I um, went uh, was um, a little bit empty. Um, in comparison with uh, other times, but um, somehow the, the food was uh, really good. I, I was uh, thinking before going there about uh, that because um, I thought maybe uh, they are using like um, uh, all ingredients or something like that, or are trying to save some money with the, quality of the ingredients, but um, I just ate tacos and, and nachos and were really good. So I think um, 
most of the um, the employees are trying to um, do their best to give a um, a good um, attention and service to all their clients. Oh, good. Okay, excellent. I'm happy you had a fun a fun time and a good time there with with your friends. Did you go with friends or family? With my husband. <laughs> Oh, okay. So it was like it was a it was a date. Yeah, like a day night. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's yeah. nice. Good. Okay. And Grace, question: um, How much of the platform have you finished? Well, um, I I just finished the third part, and I started the number four in four point one. So um, I'm just starting the the fourth. Okay, wonderful. And you have done the midterm? Yes, teacher. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Grace. Hi, Barbara. How are you? Very well, thank you. Starting the week. Good, good. Like, but very, very strong, right? Yes. They say in Spanish, con todos los poderes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, good. Excellent. Um, and how was your weekend? Um, very tired but it was great because i went to san miguel to visit my family my mom and i went to santa rosa de lima too <clears throat> uh, we had an invitation for a tamaleada <laughs> oh wow with, yes with corn uh, recently harvested harvested the same wow. day uh -huh. <laughs> So that sounds delicious. Yes, it was very, very mm -hmm. delicious. Okay, good. So you did a lot of traveling this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Okay. Um, I have a question for you, Barbara. How far along in the platform are you? I already done the part two, the section two. I'm going to start number three. Okay, so you've done section two. Did you do the midterm? Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so you're gonna start section three. Okay, good, good, thank you. Okay. Um, and Jesus, how are you, Jesus? Good evening, teacher and classmate. I, I'm well. <laughs> uh, I was, the, the last weekend I was studying uh, at Pratacom and I stayed at 1.1. Uh, I didn't understand, and okay. and I can do the exercise. One point one. One point one. No, uh, one point two. One point two. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, it's one point one. Well, four point one is is the. Is the presentation and one point two and four point two is a is a, a exercise. Okay, here's this question: What section are you in? Section one or section four? Four. Oh, okay, okay. So you finish section three. Yes. Okay, good. And did you already do the midterm? Yes. Okay, so you're just starting number one, number four. Yes, number four. Okay, I see. All right. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you guys very much for um, sharing with me a little bit um, how you do with the platform. Um, okay, I'm happy to know that uh, you're finished number two. Basically, you only have five days to complete. Um, well, the majority of you are in sec have finished section two and you're on section three, uh, but remember that you do have to, um, you have five days basically to finish two, um, two sections. So we really have to work for like really, really hard on this this week, okay? All right, so um, what I'm gonna do guys to begin with, I'm going to start here sharing the, 
we the the whiteboard. And let me know when you can see the whiteboard. Not yet, it's working. Yeah, yes, you, can, you can see it now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right. Okay, so, um, all right, so today, guys, we're going to be talking about We know as tag questions. Have you guys ever heard of tag questions? Do you remember what that what it is? I think so. Okay. Could you give me an idea of what it what you remember? It maybe when you when you uh, Say something affirmative, affirmative, and or ask something affirmative, and you at the same time you are uh, you are question the the way or negative, something like that. Okay, um, yeah, uh, Daniel, you have the idea there, um, yeah. The tag questions basically it's another way of making questions. So in English, we have different ways of asking a question. And tag questions are one of the ways that we can do it. Normally, we use tag questions Let me take off the bold part. Normally, we ask questions um, Okay, so one of the reasons why we use take questions is to confirm a piece of inf information that we already know or we think it is true. So if, if you have a piece of information that you know or you, you're almost certain that it's true, you think it's true, you're like, maybe, I don't know, 90, 95% 90, sure that it's true, and you just want to confirm it, we can use um, tag questions. It's kind of like when in Spanish you say, for example, um, you, you say in Spanish, um, for example, usted tiene 30 años, ¿verdad? So that when you say verdad is because you are confirming something that you think you know. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. I just want to make this a little bit smaller so that I have enough room to write. Oop, I think I made this bigger. It's being rebellious today. It doesn't want to cooperate with me. Okay, there you go. All right, so that's one of the reasons why we're going to use it. Another reason why we're going to use the take questions is when we
when we want somebody to agree with us. The SB means somebody, okay? So when we want somebody to agree with us. So um, it's a way of make no, make, it's not really a question. It's more of, a, it's a question, it's a, it's a question, but it's for somebody to agree with you. It's like when you say in Spanish, for example, está haciendo calor, verdad? So it's not really a question. It's more like you want the person to agree with you. You expect the person to say, sí, de veras, está haciendo mucho calor, something like that, right? So it's the same thing in Spanish, right? You want the person to agree with you. It's not really a question. Does that make sense? I think it's like a confirmation. Yeah, um, the first one is more of a confirmation. More or less. This one, the first one's a confirmation. You, the first one, you want to confirm that your information you know is true. The other one is just the, that you want the person to agree with you. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. So um, how do you make type questions? Basically, we make, oops. We make tag, oops, tag questions by having a We make the tag questions by having a main clause. And a tag ending. Okay, so basically we divide into parts. The two parts are the first part is the main clause and the second is the ending, the tag ending. Okay. And something that we need to understand, we, know, we need to make sure that, that we are clear about is that um, if the main clause is uh, positive, then the main, sorry, the type, Ending will be negative and vice versa. Also, the other part, the other way is true as well. So, if the main clause is negative, then the tag ending will be positive. So basically it's it's the opposite, right? So the main clause is positive, then the other part is negative. If the main clause is negative, then the other part is positive. It's as simple as that, okay? So let me show you what this looks like. Um, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to show it to you with the most common verb, which is the verb to be. Okay. And I'm going to say, for example, it, um, let me put this in a different color so you can see that this is the example. Um, It's very hot today, as I say, okay? It's very hot today. 
Here we're using, what's the verb? To be. Exactly, here's the verb to be, right? We're using over here. Um, and so since, I'm actually going to leave it. Isn't there. it? Pardon me? Uh, at the end, isn't it is correct? That's right, exactly. So over here, we have the verb to be, which if you notice is positive, right? The verb to be is a, it's affirmative, right? So in that case, the ending, the tag ending is going to be negative. So that's why I'm going to say isn't it and we have the question the question okay sorry the the question mark there okay so what i'm doing here what i'm doing uh, is if you notice in the main clause the question tag sorry, the, the main clause, the verb is in affirmative. Over here, it's going to be in the negative. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. If this is, if this was the other way around, if it said it isn't very hot today, and let's say that instead of saying it is very hot today, we would say it isn't very hot today, then over here, this would have to be positive. We would, we would say it isn't very hot today, is it? Does that make sense? Yeah, is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Now, the other thing is that what we're going to be working with is always the verb, the verb, or um, the verb to be, right? Or in the case with other verbs, we're going to be using the auxiliary and then we use the subject. So in this case, the subject is it, right? So here it is, it is, and then we're just going to um, switch it, isn't it, okay? I'll give you another example, not using the verb to be, but using another verb. For example, I'm gonna say, um, Your mom works in a hospital, okay? In this case, uh, the verb here is works, okay? Now, here it's affirmative. Now, what auxiliary do we use when we say works? Yeah. Does. Exactly, we use the auxiliary do, right? In the case of um, your mom, the auxiliary would be um, would be does, right? Because it's the third person singular. So we would say does, but because we want it to be the opposite, this one's affirmative, this will be negative. So we would say doesn't, okay? And now we're not gonna say doesn't your mom. We're gonna say doesn't. She. Sorry? She. Exactly, very good, doesn't she? Okay, so we're not gonna repeat your, the word your mom, we're gonna just put the, uh, the, the object, sorry, the subject pronoun, which is she, okay? So here it's going to be the opposite, which is doesn't, okay? So we gotta pay attention with all the other verbs, except for the verb to be, because the verb to be doesn't have an, an auxiliary. But with all of the other verbs, we're going to be using um, the the auxiliary of the verb of the tense, right? Okay, I'm going to give you another one. That's going to be applied in any tense, teacher. Yes, absolutely. This is about any tense, okay? This is 
the simple present, but I'm going to right now do the present um, perfect so you can see it, how it works here. Um, we haven't seen that content yet, okay? So here, Come on, be obedient. Doesn't want to listen to me. It's been very rebellious today. Okay, there it is. Okay, so here um, we are using the present perfect. Okay, so if you notice, the present perfect is haven't seen here. This one is in the negative, so we know the tag question, the, sorry, the tag ending is gonna be affirmative, okay? It's gonna be positive. And if you notice with the present perfect, the auxiliary is, what is the auxiliary have with we? the present perfect? Sorry? Have we? Good, exactly. We are using the auxiliary have. And that, so we're gonna say, have we. Okay. Because in, in, in this case, we do not use the, uh, the main, the main verb, which is C, we don't use it, we only use the auxiliary, only the auxiliary. Okay. Sounds good, everybody. Yes. Okay. okay, and I'm going to give you one yes. more just to make sure you understand it. Uh, I'm going to use another tense. I'm going to be using um, Norm, nobody will be leaving early. Okay, here we're using the uh, the future. Okay, and if you guys, what is the auxiliary there for the future? Will will, will exactly. Okay, so. Uh, Okay, so there, there's, there are a couple of things that I want to explain with this one, and I, I did this one on purpose here. So nobody will be leaving early. Now, remember what I told you. If the main clause is positive, the tag ending will be negative. If the main clause is negative, the tag ending will be positive. Okay, so first of all, what is the auxiliary I, I need to use? One, two, three, one. Okay, so we need to use the auxiliary will, will, right? Okay. Now, question: Do I uh, do I say won't, or do I say will? Should be negative. The opposite. You think it will. should be won't? Won't. Won't. One day. Okay. I. I I guess it's a, <clears throat> a tricky, tricky question. <laughs> it would be, would they? Okay. Wouldn't they? Okay. Um, 
Barbara, you're absolutely right in saying that it's a <laughs> trick question. <laughs> okay. Yes, it is a trick question. And I did this on purpose. Um, actually, this one, the answer is actually going to be, it's not would, it's will. Okay. And you're going to ask why. Why is it will? It's that the reason why it's going to be will is because if you notice nobody here, the word nobody, it has a negative connotation. So even though will is affirmative, but the word nobody makes it negative. Does that make sense? Mm, yeah, yes. Okay, so yes, will, yes. The, the auxiliary will is affirmative, but this word over here changes the meaning to make it negative. So that's why this part is actually considered negative. So we would have to use will. Sounds, is that clear for everybody? Yes. Yes? Yes. Perfect, okay. Yes. All right, All right. So that's the first thing I wanted to explain to you guys. So be careful with uh, the subject. Um, if the subject is negative or anything, any part of the first part is negative, it automatically makes that first part negative, okay? And so the second part has to be affirmative. The second thing I want to I want to tell you is that um, we need to have the correct subject, right? So we can't say will nobody, right? So we can't say nobody will be leaving early. Will nobody? We can't say that. So whenever you have subjects like nobody, anybody, somebody, you know, everybody, things like that, um, we are actually going to be using the subject they. Okay. Uh, okay, no, why do we use they? I, ex I think I explained this um, in a prior class. It's simply because we don't know if, if it's a man or a woman or, you know, if it's one, in one person or two people or what it is. So that's why we just say they in general, okay? So that's, that's a little bit of a trick question, but there you go. Is that clear for everybody? Teacher. Yeah. If if I say somebody will be leaving early, the the following part is won't. Yes, in that case. Won't yeah, they? That, yes, because in that case, somebody is is affirmative. It makes there doesn't change the context of of the auxiliary here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No. No? Okay. All right. What I want you guys to do right now, I want you to write down in your notebook. Uh, let's have four questions. Four questions using tag questions. Okay. Or better said, four tag questions. Okay. With any how tense how that you want. Any tense that you want. Okay, so it could be in the simple present, simple past, present perfect, past perfect, present progressive, past progressive, a, a, the will, like the, future, the simple future, the future be going to any, any tense, okay?
Hey, how you guys doing? You can ask me any questions at this moment. And while while I'm I'm letting you guys do that, um, let me just get some information there from Cecilia. Um, Cecilia, I was just wondering how far in the platform you are doing. Like, um, how much have you completed? Yes, uh, the, I work, I, I am working in the platform. Uh, the, the percent is uh, 20%, okay. but, but I, I will, I will work, uh, I will work in platform during, what do you say, durante? While? Uh, while the, this week. Okay, um, remember, Cecilia, you only have until Friday to finish everything. Okay, okay. in the Friday. Yes. How, how many sections have you finished? I, the section finished on the one and the two. You finished one and two? Yes, yes. Did you finish I, the midterm? I, I, what? Did you finish the midterm? Midterm? Mm, I don't remember, but I, but I, uh, I, I work in the platform, the, the section one, two, three, four, but the, the sometimes I, I have a um, bad, bad, uh, bad, the exercise bad. Okay, all right. Um, I need you to work really, really hard on that, Cecilia because remember you only have five days to complete everything, okay. right? Including yeah. the midterm, the, uh, the final exam. So it's, it's a lot of work. So I need you to work like really, really hard this week. Okay. okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, guys, you finished the four questions? Okay, what I need you to do yes. right now, we're going to be working in pairs. I'm gonna get you to work uh, with a partner. I have two, two, four, six. Okay, perfect. So I have six people. I'm gonna be assigning, um, no, I have two, four, six. How many people do I have? No, seven people, I have seven people. Okay, so I have seven people. So one group is gonna be with three. The others are going to be with two. And what I'm going to do is um, get you guys to ask, uh, like have a conversation, like an interview with your partner, ask your partner the questions, and remember to answer with the correct auxiliary. So if your partner says, for example, it's hot today, isn't it? You're going to say, yes, it is, right? Because we're using the same auxiliary. Um, if your partner says, your mom uh, works in a hospital, and you're going to say, no, she doesn't because you're using the auxiliary does, right? Or do. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yes, it does. Okay. All right. Yes. So um, go ahead and work in your groups. I'm sending the invitation right now. Didn't, didn't I? Uh huh. Gracias. I, it's right. I, I for dinner. Didn't I? 
<laughs> okay. Okay. No, I, I was wrong because I tried to to do different because I like to to ask different doubts questions because. <laughs> okay. Didn't I? Okay. The next. Okay. Any Did questions she... that you guys have right now? Not right now. It's all clear. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Anything you just let me know um, and I'll come back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. The, the second one. Did she go to the party? Didn't she? Do you have a house? Yes. Okay, Jose, remember yes. the question is not in a regular form of a question. It's a with a it's the first part, the main clause, and then the tag question. So we have, for example, if you if you want to know about living in a house, you would say you live in a house, you're affirming it, you're 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 saying for sure. You live in a house. Tú vives en una casa, ¿verdad? Right? So, you live in a house, don't you? And then Veronica would say, yes or no, right? So, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Okay, but the same thing is, is uh, you have a house, right? The tag, the tag, the tag will be how. Uh, have you? No, no. Because you have a house that is using the simple present. Yes. It as a simple present, right? So in the simple present, the auxiliary we use is do or don't. Uh, okay. Okay. Like okay. when you have a, so you say you have a house in the change, you change, do you have a house? So the auxiliary is do. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it's clear. All right. Questions, okay. Veronica? No, teacher. Okay. Thank All you. Right. All right, you're welcome. All right, anything you need, just let me know. Okay. Okay. And the other is, uh, are you right? Uh, for example, the 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 children the children's um, the children jumping jumping the children jumping in the park in the park. Uh, the children jumping or the children. Are jumping. Ah, the children are jumping in the park, and then children they aren't 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 they? Perfect, yeah. Cecilia. Yes. Aren't, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And okay. his boots. How would you? What would be the answer? The uh, answer. The answer is the, the yes, they are. Just they are. Or, or no, they aren't. <laughs> exactly. Very good. No, they are. Do you have any other questions? No. No. Ah, teacher, is the, in the, the example, the, the this example, we have some a thing. Haven't we? Is correct? No. Because no. if you say you we have, blah, 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 right? That's using the simple present, right? And uh, in the simple present, we use the auxiliary do or does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In then, who, who? What is what is the ver the uh, what is the sentence again? Uh, the, the 
sentence. Can you repeat the sentence? Okay. We have some a uh, thing. Some what? Having no. We uh, have what? We have. Uh, uh, <laughs> we have some. Uh, we have um. Cantando. Ah, we have singing a song. Uh, no, in that case, it would be we are singing a song. Estamos cantando. Not have. The auxiliary is not have. It's ah, we are, we are singing. Okay, we are singing. We are singing a song and then aren't, aren't we? Yes, we are singing a song, aren't we? Exactly. Okay. All right, girls, we're almost going to go back to the main session, so I'll see you back there. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay. Thank Okay, they're almost, they're almost back. Okay, guys, welcome back. Okay, so how did you feel with this practice? Sounds good? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, excellent. Just something I wanted to mention, something very quick that I wanted to mention before, uh, before we leave our class is this. I want you to notice that oh. Well, that's weird, the whiteboard is erased. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, sorry, can't see the whiteboard anymore. Okay, all right, I don't know what happened there. Anyways, um, okay, what I wanted to mention is basically this. Um, in the main clause, make sure that the main clause in, is in the form of a statement, not in a form of a question. So you're not gonna put any like do's at the beginning. It's like, you're not gonna say like, does your mom work? You're gonna say your mom works. You're, you're stating it, you're affirming it. It's, like, it's, un, it's una afirmación. The, the first part is not making the question. It's the second part that indicates that it's a question. So the first part is in the form of a question, sorry, of a, of a statement, not a question. Okay, got it? Okay. Okay, good, excellent. Got it. All right, guys, um, before we finish the class, I wanted to tell you that I need you guys for homework to um, write 10 questions using tag questions. So you're gonna write the questions and the answers, okay? The two things, the questions and the answers, and you can send it to me in the WhatsApp group, okay? So that I can check and see if you, got, if you have done it correctly. And then I will give you any feedback um, that is necessary. Sounds good, everybody? Okay. Yeah. Any questions? Yes, teacher. Do you have any questions that you you want to ask before we finish off our class? No question. No. No questions. Okay. Wonderful. In yes, that case, guys, uh, we're going to finish our class here. We're going to wrap it up, and remember, send me the the sentences in the WhatsApp group, and I will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock sharp. Okay, see you later. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Have a wonderful. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care.